Millions of years ago, Shinnok, one of the Elder Gods, turned on his fellow deities and invaded the Earth Realm. Ah! Raiden and the Elder Gods stopped Shinnok, locked him up in the Nether Realm. Others followed in Shinnok's footsteps, like Outworld's Emperor Shao Kahn, who was obsessed with conquering Earthrealm. So Raiden convinced the Elder Gods I to enact the Mortal the Kombat Gods. Tournament as a way to even the odds, give Earthrealm a chance. For generations, Shao Kahn followed the Elder Gods' rules. The war moved to the arena where he sent his toughest fighters to challenge Raiden's greatest defenders in Mortal Kombat. Two years ago, we beat him. Got him. But Shao Kahn wasn't ready to lose. He violated the rules of Mortal Kombat and invaded Earthrealm. Most of Earth's defenders are friends or death turned into evil undead warriors. Despite the odds, we stopped Shao Kahn's invasion. As punishment, the Elder Gods destroyed him. We thought the long nightmare was over, but it turns out that Shinnok had been manipulating events. Shao Kahn's invasion, his death. All part of Shinnok's plan to escape the Nether Realm and resume his war on the Elder Gods. Nice and easy for me. Don't I always? If by always you mean not once. <laughs> Major? All right, you have the rendezvous coordinates, far into the forest. From there, we access the portal to Raiden's Sky Temple. Where there's an angry former elder god and his devils waiting for us. Gods, portals, flying demons, blind guys with magic swords. I cannot see the world has changed. For the worse, if we do not expel Shinnok from Raiden's temple, he means to poison Earthrealm's life force, the Jinsei. And we're not gonna let that happen. Kenshi and I appreciate the Major allowing us to join you. We're happy to help kick Shinnok's bony ass back to the Netherrealm. Oh, <laughs> 
Iceman cometh and afraid that my condition has left me cold to your pleas of mercy. In this universe, there's only one absolute. Everything freezes. You are not sending me to the cool. What killed the dinosaurs? There is a... Stay cool, bird boy. <laughs> the end is near. Getting a little ahead of yourself, aren't you? Thank you and good night. Hello. Got to get back to the chopper. <laughs> Sonia, get out of here! Can you feel it coming? The icy cold of space. Ah. After you're frozen, your icy room will plummet back to Gotham. Breeze well. Cool party. Commissioner? It's a cold town. <laughs> Whew. That was unpleasantly cold. Don't say I never did anything for you. Hello. I liked it better when we fought on the same side. <coughs> you okay? We fared better than the men. Add him to the list of things Shinnok will answer for. Fortify the portal's defenses below. No, Fujin. It is too late. <laughs> Surely you are pleased to see your friends. Hmm. 
You abandoned them to their deaths. I returned them to life. A life worse than death. One you will soon share. And my lord himself shall witness your fall. Jax wouldn't punch his best friend. Charlie Cage, killing you will be a pleasure. Didn't know you were such a fan. We're gonna fix you someday. Well, nice seeing them again. Sonia, that's not him. Sergeant, what is it? That the elevator? Yes, the elevator. Sento contains the souls of my ancestors. They guide me. Could they hurry the hell up? You guys stay here. Close the door. See it now, Raiden. Your legacy. You poison their hearts with hope. And what do you offer? The same as you did millennia ago, when you betrayed your fellow Elder Gods and attacked Earthrealm. We stopped you then, imprisoned you in the Netherrealm. 
we will do so again. Remove the shadow from the light. The shadow grows. The legacy of life is death, Raiden. My followers accept this and live on. They fight for me. You see your nose all the time. Your brain just chooses to ignore it. Last Mountain Dew. I will. And all of Earthrealm will learn the truth of death. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, ma'am. Didn't see you there. Miserable wretch! Insignificant speck of feculent scum! How dare you! That is mine! Ready? As always. I'm not sure what just happened to me, but I am sure of this. Do the do. Don't say I never did anything for you. You really are a fallen elder god. Johnny Cage, the amulet! Enjoy the new digs, Gramps. Sonia? Johnny. James, Did we? Ladies and gentlemen. Yes. We, we got him. Remain here. The chamber's properties will heal Sonia Blade in short order. Quan Chi and the others, they're gone. A surge of power within the chamber overwhelmed my senses. We can deal with Quan Chi later, Kinshi. We've netted a bigger prize this day. Shinnok's amulet. And within it, old Fishface himself. 
Let us take the amulet to the Elder Gods. They cannot destroy it. No one can. They might offer counsel. Shinnok can never escape. The war is not over. Quan Chi has escaped. Why are you smiling? She called me Johnny. Raiden told me later that I'm descended from some Mediterranean war cult. Bred as warriors for the gods. I've never been able to resummon that green halo. Raiden thinks it was triggered when I saw a loved one about to die. <laughs> How about you, Cassie? Can you summon anything like that? Or did it skip a generation? Take it easy, Jin. We didn't need a halo in Darfur. Or Iran. Or Kurdistan. Did we, Jackie? Nope, we didn't. Shaolin monks ever send you there, Jen? I've seen plenty of action. Takeda and I both. Stuff that blow your special forces mind. At ease. You're all here because you deserve to be. You're beautiful and unique snowflakes. Now, as I'm sure you're unaware, judging from the lack of gift cards, today is our team's six-week anniversary. Secretary Blake says he's pleased with our progress. You could spit in his hair and he'd be pleased with our progress. He was smart enough to have Mr. Cage put this team together. And I'm glad the Shira Ryu chose me to join. New places, new faces. As the secretary pointed out, us older folks are gonna retire someday. So it's time for your generation to step up. Shaolin, Shirai Ryu, SF, together. For your team's first mission, you're going to the Lin Kuei Temple. We haven't heard from the Grand Master in a while. So we need to make sure he's still on our side. That he's got our backs if things flare up again with Outworld. You need to bring him in. But don't be surprised if Sub-Zero's not willing to cooperate. Why be worried about Outworld? I thought Kotal Khan respected the Reiko Accords. He does, but he's facing a civil war. If the Rebels win, those Accords will be history. 